did something crazy, man. I just shot my ex-girlfriend in the head, yo. It felt like a dream. Like, I never thought I would be that guy. I can't go to prison, so the person that really started my and all of this is my ex-wife. So she next, and then I'm going to do myself too. But I just wanted to say this to people. Don't play with people's emotions, man. Don't lie on these men. Oh, this is my ex-wife right here. Uh, Rajay Black. Police say Black killed two of his former partners in a rampage that started in Baltimore and then ended in Howard County. You know, I wish men would understand the best, the best revenge on a woman that broke your heart, okay? Is to be better than when she left you. To show you that you are better. To show you that you, you could do better without her. This is the thing where, right, I don't condone his violent action, but it's that men are so depressed, so distraught, so mentally unstable because they have no guidance. No one's there for them. No one's to listen to their struggles, listen to their problems. No one supports them. No one cares about them. Okay. And this is the thing where we, we don't understand, right? We don't allow men to express their emotions and we don't care if men express their emotions until, right? It bottles up and explodes into a violent action which i don't condone okay but this is the thing where why i built this platform where me personally i want to express my feelings express my thoughts and express my opinions and i think other men should do the same thing okay don't let uh your emotions bottle up don't let the world's um the world's um the weight of the world just destroy you and flatten you, okay? This is why I said it is important to find mentorship, if you can't, right? But this is the thing where I think good men online is something that is helpful as well. Where you get guided where, you know what? Men can say that it's not all about women, okay? Yes, I mean, at the end of the day, we want, we, we, we work, you know, make a lot of money, be whatever we are so we can impress women to have women. But at the end of the day, when you make a when you put a woman on a pedestal, make her the center of your world, it will only disappoint you. It will only hurt you. So this is the thing where we have to see past that. You know what? In life, there's got to be more. Okay? Find a different purpose. When his exes broke his heart, he should have found a different purpose, a purpose where he can improve himself. Focus on work, focus on building a career, focus on building a finance, focus on building your own kingdom, focus on being the best version of yourself, mentally, physically, you know, financially, whatever. In this world, we have not enough people encouraging men to be their best version of themselves okay we don't have enough men to encourage other men or even women right anyone encourage other men to not let the, the the weight of the world destroy you this is the thing where we need other people to help encourage men to you know what you gotta you gotta different have a fo different focus right in life you got to have more than just one focus, okay? You got to have more than just one way to make you happy. You can't center your happiness purely on women. And this is a sad situation where this man, all his thing is about the, his exes. And it's a cycle, right? One ex, then the next. And he just centered his happiness, his world on these women. And when they left him, his world shattered and... He, went, he was violently, he acted out violently, which it is terrible, okay? And that's why I want, I want to encourage men to understand that life is hard. Life is hard for men. But to counteract it is stand up. Stand up from the hardship. Fight it. Keep
keep fighting, be strong, keep moving forward. And this one was also conducted by Edinburgh University's Child Light Program. And what they did for this study is they surveyed 1,500 British men and basically asked if they had carried out any offenses against children. The answering was a staggering one in 10 for both online and offline. Now, outside of the 10.1% of men who admitted that they had engaged in child offending, either on or offline, they also surveyed that one in 20 men, which is 4.8% of the men surveyed, uh, had also admitted to engaging in some type of actual act uh, with a child while they were over the age of 18. This same survey, again, studying only British men, found out that 5% of British men had admitted that they actually had inappropriate feelings toward children and had actually acted upon them. Now, here's the thing. We all know that this is a problem because we see the headlines all the time, but I had no idea it was this widespread of a problem. Just don't let men watch your kids. And by the way, the vast majority of the time, this apparently happens, according to the surveys, um, by men that are close to you. So typically family members or close family friends. Do everything you can to keep your kids, both boys and girls, safe. This is the thing. This is the... um the ideology that people love to spread. Now, let me say this, right? Any person that abuses in any way uh, and truly abuses, like like sexually abuse a child, they should be sexually castrated where they can't reproduce and they can't feel sexual urges, okay? Chemically castrate them, whatever. But this is the thing. His last part is what is really unbelievable right because this is what this is what like pushes out the narrative right and then you wonder why right men are not active in their children's lives or in ch or men stay away from uh children that are in danger or whatever because men don't want to be labeled as any of this right men don't want to be part of this and then you get men that just steer away if they see a problem with children they won't, they won't handle it. They won't do nothing about that because of that the label that society pushes on men. Here's the thing, right? You said men only, right? This is the thing, right? Where I just recently, saw, I don't know about you guys, right? But I just recently saw a, uh, a news report of a woman uh, having sexual relationships, a teacher, a teacher having sexual relationships with her student, underage student. A female teacher, female teacher, having sexual relationships with a student. This is the thing where we are, it's like, and I don't even know, right? I'm not saying I know it, but when you do a report like that, only towards men, yeah, you're going to get, you're going to get the bad image of men. But it's not like they did the report against both men and women. Because, again, in most cases, men are not in children's lives so what are who are the ones who predominantly abuse children women now i'm not saying that men don't abuse children i know they do but i'm saying that you painting a picture that oh yeah it's just men don't have don't let don't let uh children around men it's like how about don't let children around bad people don't let children around that people that you know what you don't a hundred percent trust because I've seen cases of, let's say, female babysitters, uh, female um, daycare workers, uh, female teachers, female abusing children, okay? Or female having sexual relations with children. I'm not painting a picture that female, don't, don't, don't let children around, or around women, okay? Sometimes, like, we're just painting a truly one-sided picture when it's not really one-sided because they're bad people both both things right women have abused children men have abused abused children bad people abuse abused children and i think they should like i said be sexually castrated so they don't feel you know any sexual urges because they're danger but this is the thing where it is dangerous to paint one-sided pictures when in reality, it is not one-sided. It is not one-sided. It's truly not one-sided, okay? I don't know about you, but I've heard so many stories of 
female teachers having sexual relationship with children, with their students. Okay? And it's like, okay, so, so we should ignore that. It's fine that that's happening. But men, we should, we should keep children away from men. But we don't understand the ramifications. One, we wonder why men don't go into teaching professions. Because they don't want to be stigma. It, it's like, I think there's absolutely, the, the percentage of men teachers are absolutely a dismal. Okay? And we also wonder why men stay away from, if they see a child in danger, or they see some kind of situation with children, they stay away from it. Because they don't want to be labeled as the one who's doing it. And this is when we don't understand that painting such a one-sided picture when it's not one-sided, it is dangerous because you're you you are pretty much um, indoctrinating an ideology that men should stay away from children, good or not, right? So men will stay away from children. I eat like like men don't take like even their kids to places because they won't they they wouldn't take kids to parks because they don't want to be labeled as a creep okay men don't want to do the, it's like you don't understand this is what i'm saying right people don't understand the the life and struggles of men and this is i'm talking about good men i know like i keep on saying it the i think the, extre the punishment there should be extreme punishment for men that or anyone that uh sexually abuse children but we don't understand that the good men will also listen they will abide by those rules they will abide by that ideology, right? That men are dangerous to children. So they are going to distance themselves from children, okay? And what do you think fathers are going to be like? Fathers will distance themselves from children, especially in public. This is the thing where we don't understand. Like, we don't understand, okay, because men don't want to be labeled as creeps and stuff like that. Even for their own children, they will be labeled that. So men will stay away from shit, from those kind of situations. Teacher is accused of getting with a 14-year-old student. Stephanie Peterson is 26 years old and is being arrested and charged. Authorities allege that a student told detectives that she would send him nude photos. Then she would pick him up from his house several times late at night. And the police found this all out after the boy told his parents about their relationship. Six female teachers caught sleeping with students. What the hell going on? Either these kids got riz now, or these are the shorts that get skipped on Tinder. I don't get how they be getting caught. Who is out here snitching? Back when I was in school, man, this is what I was praying for. Now it's just kind of creepy. Like, why you messing with I don't know who boy? I am. I'm the motherfucker who crashed that whip into that gym. I'm going to be real. I ain't got nothing to lose. My life actually sucks. I didn't go to college and get a good career in life. Me crashing into that thing is the best thing that ever happened to me. Most of my life, I spent it inside playing video games. Most of my life, I spent uh, getting my ass beat. I'm going to be real. I went to school, got my ass beat. Didn't have friends. Got home, got my ass beat. I'm not scared of dying. I have everything to gain. I have nothing to lose. Yeah, me hitchhiking, you know, I'm just living my life, you know. I'm just here to... You know, this is sad, right? This is why I wish more men would um, find mentors, right? Um, in life... I understand that. I don't understand the hardness, right? I understand the difficulties, the struggles of men. Because we there's so much weight on our shoulders. We are expected to succeed, expected to make something out of ourselves, expected to have something going for us. You know, we, we, we need to be men that can provide and protect. And it's a hard journey. So it, it is, it's sad to see young men, uh, directionless and guideless don't know what to do in life <clears throat> and just struggling with life and I've been there right <clears throat> I went to school uh, tried to try my career tried to make something of myself had bad relationships I, it's just a whole lot of like directionless life right only now in the recent years when I'm much older is when I have a, a clearer focus in life um, I and I make average money, but I can say in investments, I have. I mean, like I'm doing well in investments because I learned, I studied, 
I try to make better choices in life. Uh, I work hard, you know. I work myself to the bone. And just to make the little bit of money I do make, I invest it. I don't spend it on anything special. I pay bills and I put my money in investments. It's a long journey. It's a hard journey. But it's like something that... It's just something that I learned that as men, when we have nothing, right, then we feel like nothing, right? If nothing's going for us in life, it's just debilitating. It destroys us mentally and physically. And this is where I I really wish young men would seek guidance, right? Seek wisdom uh, from other men, you know, where you need someone to talk to. Uh, you need someone to help guide you in life. Um, again, I'm no one special. But, I mean, I made this platform in hopes that, you know, if there is any young men out there that feels like this, you, I'm a DM away, right? I'm, I would I'd gladly give, your, give some advice and gladly hear your struggles. Um, because even that's some men don't even have, right? Some men don't even have anyone that would listen to them, you know. So, so the, that's the least I could do. Uh, you know, I could go extra mile and you know maybe give some advice. Because again, like I said, I've been there and I've done that, and I'm still on that journey. I'm still on that journey to being the best version of myself. You know, self improvement. I'm not saying that I'm going to be a high value man. I'm not, but. I'm going to be a man that I can hold my shit down. And if I'm in a relationship with someone, I will be able to provide and protect. Okay? I'm not going to say I'm going to provide any woman the IG lifestyle. I'm not. But I can still provide and protect the person I love and hopefully that loves me. And this is a thing where a lot of young men just feel like it's hopeless. And I really wish that you don't feel like that. And one of the ways that I wish you could ch- turn that turn that tide is see some seek some guidance, right? I I really just just listen to me. It's very sad, and and I really hope a lot of young men that are, that are like this, any man, young or not, right? Any man that feels like this would seek some mentorship.